I have a great way for busy educators to learn in my online workshops. Before a workshop begins, educators become classmates in Google Classroom. They introduce themselves in a post or on Flipgrid. I post an instructional video on the first day of the workshop. That video introduces an optional assignment. Classmates share their assignment so that anyone can comment. The shareable link is posted in Google Classroom. Classmates view each other's assignments and offer encouragement and constructive feedback. So much creative genius is exchanged as classmates create, share, and comment. The next week, I post the second instructional video. I recap some of the creative genius from week one. I also answer questions that have been posted in Google Classroom and on Flipgrid. Week two's video has a new optional assignment. More creative genius is exchanged as classmates again create, share, and comment. Then another week, another video. This process continues through all the weeks of the workshop. The thing is, Classmates can post their assignments at any time. It's okay if classmates fall behind. The weekly videos and resources are there and the optional assignment can be completed at any time. Staying on track with the weekly pace is the best way to experience my workshops. But life happens and it's perfectly okay to fall behind. Classmates can catch up since the videos and posts stay online. And it happens, some classmates don't catch up until after the class has concluded. That's okay too. The Google Classroom videos and assignments are never deleted. They remain online for years to come. Learning online doesn't have to be passive, solitary, boring, or rigid. I've taken care to design workshops where you can actively learn on a flexible schedule.